Jurassic World the game! And oh hey, welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know, I know. Here we are, look at it! Terminodontosaurus! Whatever you want to call it. But we I, I did it! I, I freaking oh my god, I spent all day today playing this. That, that, that because I hadn't done any of the tournament. And it was like 2,400 clubs. Oh, God. It was horrendous. I even, uh, like, I went to the gym in the morning and I was like, oh, God, I, I need to get this done. So, for the first time ever, I enlisted Whitney. What do you think of the battle system? <laughs> Bring zero joy. What do you think they could do to improve it? Delete it. <laughs> and you've been playing it for... Like, 10 minutes? Imagine doing this for, uh, like, a job. two, or, yeah, <laughs> a job, or two to three hours straight. Can you imagine? I do that. I would just stop playing. It's not fun anymore. Is that right? Games are meant to be fun. You know, people have mentioned this for the longest time of, like, oh, you should have Whitney play Jurassic World the game. No! <laughs> Does Whitney really not like that idea anymore? Oh, 29 cups! Because you made that quite a close one, because I told you, he was, he was a weak one. Oh, that, uh, post I only have eight more hours to go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, she hated it. <laughs> I think she did about an hour and a half of just, like, I should have, what, like, you know, the basic premise of putting in a common first and then a good one, then a common. She, did, she got, like, 1,200 trophies. So I was quite impressed. It really saved me a lot of time, and I probably wouldn't have been able to do it if she hadn't have got that as well. But she didn't enjoy it, so... <laughs> anyway, here we are. We got 2,500 DNA, 500 buckaroos, and finally unlocked Temenodontosaur. Oh my god, as well as the coveted 2,600 of that. Not only have we unlocked that, but because uh, I've been doing a lot of the, uh, the, of the, me and Whitney, I suppose, we did a lot of the battles. Um, there was a lot of these missions that we just knocked out of the park. It was like, use 60 amphibians, use 25 amphibians, battle this many times, PvPs. So, we now have all of this unlocked. Damn. Now, we still have 11 days, and if we get... How much is it? There's a Megatherium diorama as well up there, which is interesting. Um, Titanoboa diorama. There is... Really, that's what you want. You want 16,000. Double double which is almost impossible let's be honest and then if you get eighteen thousand, you get another one instant hatched as well i think no hatching required and then if you get twenty thousand, you get another one instant hatch so this is for the goronyosaurus i think there was a a thing for a pack for it also just quickly do this five of these we'll get the uh ten on to the up to max level because why wouldn't you and then one gastronis uh, I think I need this for a mission, so we'll just get that. Oh, as well as a... Z oh, zinc... Oh, this must have just timed over. So we get two of these, we get a zinc, and then we get another one. I can't remember what it is. What's And, like, I just put 10 in every time. Because normally the prizes are quite good. I don't even need to think about it. Oh, silver fidelity! That's what I'm talking about! Although well, it was a stegosaurus. So... Not the best of prizes, I suppose, but really, I did it for this! Uh, nothing. <laughs> like, this is all I've got left, is 18,000, basically. 18,000, um... Oh, sorry, 1,800. 18,000 would be amazing. Uh, 1,800 of this, uh, 600 of that, so like 2,000 and odd. And then, of course, the daily rewards. So, really, I'm only gonna be able to get about that much, like 11,000. At a push, if I keep on doing for 11 days straight, I might be able to unlock that one. But really, to get all the way to the end for the 20,000, you need to have done every mission and log in every day to get every reward. Reward. Got to get every reward. <laughs> there it is. Reach the Dominator League. Woo! Really? I, look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at what I had to use to get this far. Uh, any creature? No, that's any glacier creature. Only amphibians. Amphibians. Okay, we'll just do this one. Yeah. Look at this. I had to use every friggin' dinosaur, basically. Oh, the one. Sorry. Let's go Jurassic, because that's all it was. Look at those. Apart from the ones that have timed out. 
Oh my, I do so many freaking dinosaurs to get this. I mean, doing all in a day is probably not the best thing because, you know, dinosaurs, some dinosaurs you can get back within a day and it's about two or three days was the tournament requirement. But, oh my God, <laughs> it was horrendous. Ludia, Jam City, whatever you want to call yourselves, stop it. Not only is this horrendous to do basically all day, it's boring as, and every battle is in the same arena. It's the visitor center. It's dark. It's miserable. The lighting's terrible. Please change it. I wouldn't care if it was the helipad. Don't mind doing that. At least I can see the dinosaurs. But I'm, I'm like, just change it. Simple bit of code. Have it change to the, to the helipad or something. Or randomize it. Because it is not only doing the same battles over and over and over again. It is monotonous. At least with this, you'd see something different. I'd, I'd actually get to see my opponents. I'd see the nice lighting. But it's all... If you're not changing... I'm, I'm going to send a message, honestly. Because they're obviously not watching my videos. Because they don't care about the game, apparently. Um... I'm going to send a message and be like, look, this is ridiculous. You, this arena that you having people compete in for hours and hours on end is horrendous. It is dark, it's gloomy, it's miserable, and it's monotonous. Please change it, for the love of God, for the people who actually do legit play this and don't just, you know, hack the game, because apparently they don't care about that. Um, for the sake of our sanity, please change it. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> anyway, anyway, enough of that. They were being really sad. Right, Aquatics. I got that the Temenodontosaurus instant hatch for 250. Oh my god, it's actually quite big. Is it? It's got huge eyes. This one. Oh, look at it. That's so cute. It's got big eyeballs. This one looks like it was more based on the one from Walking with Dinosaurs, actually, which is quite fascinating. Whoop, off you go. Where are you going? You're just gonna swim around? Oh, did you not? Oh, wait, where are you going? We're just going. We're just swimming around. Look at this lagoon. This is what Just a World Evolution Two needs. This kind of, you know, being able to make arches and stuff, or at least place it down. You know, maybe you can't construct the arch yourself like you would in Planet Zoo, but just have a placeable one, so at least creatures could interact with it a certain way. Could be great. Could be fantastic even. Anyway, what are you doing? Oh, he's getting a big look at us. Let's feed you. Uh oh, hold on. There we go. Eh. Fishy comes out. Yum! Oh, cha oh, there's a weird little glitch there. Okay. Right, well, we're going to have to make seven more. And luckily, I uh, I almost had a million. Oh, you know, I was on 900,000 for the DNA. Um, and the books, this really helps. But at the moment, I'm, pay I'm paying for VIP. And I'm getting no perks every month anymore. They should keep on adding the perks. Um, but obviously, they're not going to do that. I, I don't know. Oh, oh! Books off on the on the hatchery. That's great. Um, I honestly don't know how much I need to whinge about this game anymore because I don't even know if they watch the videos. I think all I'm gonna do is just put it in a post, say this is what you need to change or what I would like you to change because you know I'm one dude. I don't know. I played this game for eight years, nine almost. <laughs> Woo, daddy. That's a lot of time. But luckily, 50% of that. This is VIP exclusive. Hatchery speed up 50% off offer. So that is very good. Instead of 1,680, it's only costing me 840. Uh, I'd like if they did this after every creature. Because there, there are some ones that I'd love to just get. But at the same time, for a video, it would be great after every tournament creature they did this for VIPs. Maybe that would increase the amount of people that would want to spend for VIP? I don't know. That's just me. Okay, you. All these level 10s. Level 10 and... Oh my god. I have 8? Yeah. Eight's, eight's what you need, isn't it? Yeah. So after all this, we've spent 60-ish thousand DNA. And as far as books go... What, like a thousand plus one, two thousand six hundred books, which isn't too bad when you consider just hatching one is about one thousand six hundred. For the price of speeding up two, we got eight. We got level forty. Now it is a tournament creature, and fusing as well isn't going to cost us any books. Right, so we'll get you at level eleven. What do you look like at level eleven? Any different? Oh, you have a little, yeah, a little bit of difference. You've got a pattern on the back there. 
Unfortunately, the lagoon creatures, you can't tap to change anything about them. I love the shoal of fish in the background as well. After now spending time in Evolution 2, I'm like, mm, what is it missing? What, what makes the lagoons more alive? You know, this looks cool. It's a bit stiff in the animation, but let's be honest, this is an old game. So we'll instant fuse this. I've got nothing else to really use instant fuses for, so I may as well do it for this. And really, I think it's only five or six I think I need to fuse. But, you know, I don't want to spend books, and books is the commodity here that I really want to save on. So that is four speed ups. I think maybe it's six. Yep, yeah, well, let's feed you. Let's see a level 20. Hunt down its prey. Ham, yam. Is it going to glitch? The fish disappears. It goes boom. It's like the fish gets pulled off somewhere else. But then because they do it within two frames, you see one frame of it moving to its other reset position. So we'll get you. Get you. And instant fuse. Boom. Oh, nice coloring. So we're going for a purple. I like it. And there it is. Purple flavored blueberry. We'll see it do its eating animation level 30. 2,301 health and 700 not attack. It's looking pretty, like for a tournament creature, it's looking really promising. So I'm going to be left with two extra fuses. We'll see if there's anything we really want to fuse and speed that up, because I'm sure I've got some. And finally, instant fuse. Oh, it's a spiky boy, something we've come to see from Ludia and Jam City in the past. There it is. At level 31 to 40. It's, uh, it, the model doesn't change much. It just gets a bit more spiky. That is, that's interesting though, I suppose. It got like a giraffe pick park thing going on for its, uh, its mouth there, which is a bit odd. Let's feed it once. Have a look at you. Yes. Yum. And yum. Right, and then let's feed you one more time. And there we go. 3,256 health and 1,017 attack from tournament creatures. That's really good. Especially land tournament creatures. A thousand. I mean, that's. I don't know if many land creatures that are level 1,000 get those. But Temonodontosaurus is one of the oldest and largest ichthyosaurs known to science. More than Shonosaurus or Sh Shonosaurus? I don't know. I always get that wrong. Uh, Temonodontosaurus means cutting tooth lizard, named for its rows of jagged teeth. It ate ammonites, cephalopods, and sometimes even their own young. And their teeth had deep, strong roots to prevent loss or breakage while cracking ammonite shells. Gorgeous. The Echidosaurs were a, a family of uh, marine aquatic reptiles that unfortunately went extinct before the time of the dinosaurs ended. I think uh, their their peak was in the Jurassic and then by the Cretaceous I think they went extinct or if they if they didn't there was like only one or two species clinging to life in a world that was completely dominated by mosasaurs and stuff like that and other bigger creatures or the plesiosaurs uh, which is a bit of a shame because they're, they're such cool looking creatures. Oh, and before we go, I completely forgot to showcase it in a battle. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, this is where it lines up in the roster, just below U Moon. So it has 300 more health than U Moon, but 100 less attack. So it's like, do you want 300 more health or 100 more attack? It's up to you. But we'll put in uh, a weak creature, then we'll put in a very good creature, and then another weak creature. And then we get to see a different battle arena. Because the PvP one for the aquatic, I don't think it's at night. I think it's, um... Ooh. Oh, that's perfect. Heck. 60 attack on that thing. Oh, is it? No, I... Oh, you know what? I have no idea. Okay, yeah. So it goes first and it's 1 million percent going to kill me. <laughs> the Mosaurus. Well, at least we're going to see its entrance animation. That's cool. Do you do the tornado for your aid attack? I don't even know. Yeah, look at you! Woo! Uh, we could actually just go for reserves and make it waste one of its moves to switch out. I think that's probably the best bet. <laughs> it gets happy. <laughs> Little shimmy shams. <laughs> the trucks. Right, okay, so you've got one block. So I'm going to do that. And you're definitely... Oh, there it is. The... Oh, yeah, tail slap. 
<laughs> I die. Right. Proggy. Proggy, 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 huh? What are you gonna do? A lot, a lot, ooh, okay, we're gonna switch. We're wasting all our moves, are we? Oh, yes, we are. It's ever. Right, this is great. So we've seen the one to two attack. Um, right, we'll do this. So this is the three to four attack. Yep, yep. Oh, slam. A shoulder barge. And should we save for the seven to eight? Because we can't go to the five to six. Because it will just kill it. Um, so I think I'll... I, we could, but we're not going to die. It's going to do 30 damage to us. Bless it. Oh, I like that. Ugh. And then use its tail to get back into action. So we'll go for that. We'll use our seven to eight attack animation. I feel like the other one was like the tornado where it span around and then came out. But maybe I'm thinking that because it was um, that was the animation of it when it was in Jurassic Park Builder. We had the tornado. But here we go. Eight attack. You can do a max of 30,500 damage and it's going to do it. Oh, it's a spin. Yeah! <laughs> this just leaves it. It's like, oh, yeah, it's not dead. Ah! <laughs> oh, look at you. Gorgeous. Woo. Oh, it's brilliant. Okay, well, I'm glad I'm glad we got the showcase. I was like, hold on a minute. We haven't even seen it. Should probably do that. And, and uh, week six, mid 6,000 food. Anyway, back to the video. Coral Crusade. Is that the one with the chance? Yeah, this is... We opened this pack and we got it last time. But there's no point really, like... Ooh, a helicopter at level 11. Ooh, don't even need to uh, hatch that guy. We'll collect a little bit of that. Yes. If we get one more, we get 150,000 food, which really isn't worth it. 230 uh, DNA. As a VIP, we don't double it, unfortunately. And some wasted coin. But let's have a look. What we got going in the trade harbor? Always worth a little bit of a look, but uh, 12,000 bucks for one and one to so Don't think I'm going to be doing that one. Uh, anything else in the news? Nothing in the news. It says it wants me to claim. Okay, we participated in something. Uh, but while I'm here, nothing to collect there. Let's set off something in the, yeah, whatever amphibians we need to use. But we got three more incubators. I want to have a look at the super hybrids because I ran out of creatures to use, but I bought two Indoraptors back and they they would, you know, re get ready to battle again super quick. So more of those, and they're quite cheap, I think. 2,000, yeah, six days, don't care, don't care. Let's get more Indoraptors. Uh, I think I've got plenty of th thousands upon thousands of DNA. Oh, there we go. That's the most we can get for that. Okay. Um, the next one, I'm really not too sure what I have. I don't have any ready. The next best one, according to this, is Monostegatops. Don't think it'll be six days, though. Three days. How many Monostegatops DNA do I have? 8,000. I could get another eight Monostegatops. Monostegatops is a good creature. Um... I mean, if I have a look at the other ones, like, what what are they? I mean, that's it. We haven't had a new super hybrid in such a long time. Um, it's, it like, honestly, it feels like this game, apart from adding tournament creatures, I'm hoping for something big soon. Because otherwise, they're really struggling to keep the game alive, I feel. Pun intended, they're focusing on Jurassic World Alive. They're updating that game like every month, adding new things, new, and or everything that's being added to it is just making the game worse. That's why I'm no longer covering Jurassic World Alive. I, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm play it, but I'm not making videos on it, basically, um, until something comes out that I want to check out or they change because the amount of free publicity I've given them and money because I spent like a thousand, thousands it was, on Rexy. I've given them far too much money. More money than I would ever give any gaming company. Um, and, well, saying that, for what they've given back. I'll be honest. Um, but this game, you know, I bought the VIP. Because I wanted to. And it, it gave me something. Um, right, this one. Let's have a look. Battle Stage Infinite. Oh, I don't have any. <laughs> Wait, do I have? Uh, 
Never mind, I can't even do- Wait, what else do we actually have going on? We've got a battle for Survivor. I never do these. And for exactly the reason you've seen, I need all my creatures to do the tournament. And these are gone in 23 hours, so there's no point. But what do you get? You would unlock a Darwinopterus. As well as some pretty decent rewards. And all you need is to do 28 of these battles. And it's really not that hard, especially a battle for survival. We can easily do that if we so wished. Um, Earth shattering is only amphibians, but is doable, is doable. And uh, the Earth shattering for the Utah Raptor is also amphibians, but it's... I mean, I would assume it's less of a prize. Maybe the rewards are the same. No, they're not. Okay, we're going to do this one. Uh, we'll put in a terrible one. And then... We've got... We've got so many... Oh, like, I need to fuse these. Okay, okay, okay. Before we do that, let's have a look. Let's look at VIPs. Can we look at VIPs? Okay, we can't just look at VIPs. We can't feed this guy? Oh, right. But it takes DNA to feed the bosses. Oh. Right. Yeah, we'll not do that. <laughs> Go back to Nublar. Back into here. Uh, what is a VIP? A Metaposaurus is a VIP creature. But Mastodonus. We have four of those. We have three of those. Yeah. At level 10? Ah, let's fuse them. We have one instant fuse. May as well use it. I'm not going to use it for anything else. And now we get level 11. So going from 1,296 health, 400 and odd attack, to 2,220 health and 694. So a big increase. Oh, I love that sound effect. That is so, that's such a stock sound effect. Like the gore sound effect. So yeah, it's getting an extra 1,000 health and then an extra 200. Basically 300. 300 attack and 1,000 health. I'm not really going to use Mastodonosaurus too much. I'm, you know, in the tournaments. It's okay with me. But we'll jump straight into the this guy. Put in something to just, you know, throw out there. And honestly, those two are probably going to do it for me. And, you see, this is the arena, right? How... I can't even... Like, for a start, the opponent is so far away. And two, it's in the shadows. Like... Not only have I spent all day battling in this absolutely horrid to look at battle arena, but I'm also having to do the battle events in it as well. <laughs> the best one they have arena, in my personal opinion, is used for PvP, and the rewards for PvP aren't very good. Or at least that I remember them being, they weren't, they weren't very good. And yet here we are in something that the player would want to do to get good rewards, which basically you get a free pack, you know, just by doing battles. You don't have to spend any money or anything like that. And yet, you're forced to battle in this arena over and over. The only saving grace is that I can speed it up to get this uh, horrid assault on my eyeballs out of the way as quickly as possible. So we'll do those two. Quickly speed up. Boom. Done. And luckily, because it's not trying to pretend that these are real people, it'll do all the inputs, like, instantly. Like, there you go, done. So that'll be dead. We kill this thing in one hit. Might as well just go for two reserves, one attack. Boom! Get it over! Whoosh! Honestly, if the PvPs had speed up, I could have saved hours. Hours of time. Honestly, it's bad for the environment, because my iPad burns. Um up when I'm playing this game and I need to charge it so it's wasting electricity when you can just put a speed of I don't... honestly Ludia can we just stop pretending that the PvP is PvP for like all you're doing is wasting my battery and wasting my time <laughs> it, like instead of getting 2500 cups in about four to five hours I can get it in about two Oh, it would be so nice. And I'd feel like progressing. I'd be progressing so much quicker. It'd be so nice, Lydia. Please. Right. Um, is that honestly the best creature I have? I'm going to put you in and then you in. I think that's... I don't need to put in anything that's better than that. Spine Lord, you remember when Spinosaur getting this thing to level 40? He's like, oh my god, that looks so cool. Oh, I love it. 
luckily in this arena, it's such a big dinosaur, you can actually see it. Like, half of it you can't see because it's in the shadow, but the rest of it you can. This arena is not so bad for Spinosaurus. But then we go to Rage, and you can't really see him because he's far away and he's in the shadow. Honestly. Oh, I forgot. Oh, okay. So we actually don't kill him. Oh, there we go. We kill him in two. We don't kill him in one. Boom. Oh. <laughs> it's so horrible. PvP. Get PTSD for PvP. Right. Go on then. I think this is the last battle? Or is it four battles? I think this might be the fourth. Let's have a check. Come on, give me it. I get a hundred bucks for this, which is great. Imagine getting a hundred bucks in Jurassic World Alive. <laughs> Imagine. I think they, they had it where... Oh, that's right. The, the book transition. Oh, yeah. Just, just give me one of those. From Jurassic Park Builder to Jurassic World The Game was they made... They made one more valuable, and if you trade it over... I can't remember what it was. It was some sort of equivalent. I remember when they, the games were both going at the same time. But they've made the amount of books you need in Jurassic World Alive to do anything in particular. It's far ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. They, they, I think they've kept the same rewards that's in this game in Jurassic World Alive. Like, ten books. But... Thing is, 10 books can't get you anything in that game. This game, maybe, especially early on, but that game, nah. You want to open up an incubator quickly? Here's like, give, give me 800. Give me 800 bucks. That's, that's the buy an incubator, but ugh, ridiculous. The market is flooded. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm using this as a way to air my grievances with Just World Life. That's the problem with it. There's so many things you can buy in the market, but you actually can't buy because it's just not worth it. So much. And the fact that I'm playing other games now and I'm realizing just how ridiculous and money hungry it is. But this game is fun. Like, I, I can't really find anything apart apart from the PvP. It's horrendous. And look, here we go. It's 1,300 VIP points. Oh, it's so good. As well as a free Ostrificosaurus. And we're one towards Clash of Times. But we're not going to get that probably because, well, two weeks actually. We might be, you know. I think we could get Darwin after us. Uh, we'll do Earth Shattering as well, because this was also Amphibians. Uh, and we probably... We've got three battles. Ooh, that's a bit crap. <laughs> this guy, though? Maybe. Maybe. They are crazy levels in this one, however. Level 74 Carnotaurus. Why even use a Carnotaurus at that point? Just use a, an Epic or a Legendary. Right, I can kill it in one hit. That's fantastic. Oh, oh, for Codon. That's got a lot of attack. Yeah, not enough to kill me, though. Let's have a look. Please go for two. Ooh, I would have loved it to have gone for two. Okay, so one does kill it. Factor in the... I'm going to factor in the two just in case. Oh, it's always safe. Uh, oh, maybe not anymore, though. Oh, I don't know. Three hits can kill me? Nah. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, it's gonna go for it! Oh, you cheeky get ya! You are some corny! Yeah. <laughs> Look at you, Amphiostegra! Or Ichthyostega. No, not Ichthyostega. What even are you? I don't know, there's too many amphibians. I don't care. Right, what we got? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just use these guys. They're good enough. Um, I've only got three more battles. I've got three good ones to use. And I can switch my brain off. I don't even need to worry about it. Oh, no. Oh, have they changed the animation for him dying? I think they've changed how far away it gets flung because it used to face the other direction. It used to face behind you so you couldn't see it. And now it's like, eh, you see me now? See how dead I am? This thing's blooming a clown. It's got the weird little, little horns that I would assume a clown wears. Yes. Or an evil clown. Oh, that's right. It's like the hair. That's that's how. That's why I'm seeing it. Like Krusty the Clown, except for evil or it. Does it have the hair at the side? I feel like it must do. Whoa! Cheeky git. How dare you go for all those attacks? Now you must die. Yes. Gorgeous. Yum, yum, yum. 
Evil. Evil. And we get DNA every time we do a battle. Right, next one. Uh, yeah, whatevs. Um, Prestasuchus level 20. Ooh. I had three Prestasuchuses. One was a level 40. Be interesting to see what the other one was. Because I had four of Mastodonosaurus. I don't know. I don't know. No, Fluffy. <laughs> Fluffy. Right, there we go. Kill it. Wallop. All right, Rajasaurus comes in. You see what I mean? You've had to make Carnotaurus level 78 to be at the same level as a level 31 Rajas Rajasaurus. Just use Rajasaur then. Right, one will kill it. Whoa! And the final one. No, like this is free as well. This is this is so good. Honestly, the rewards you get in this are so much better. And Jurassic World alive. <laughs> ah, we'll just go for it all out. Kill it. I like how Carnotaurus' eyes are just like looking in different directions, like a freaking Chihuahua. Like, love me. <laughs> Honestly, Carnotaurus' design in this is so weird. I have no idea what they were thinking when they designed it. It's like, well... I don't know! Give it weird horns and make it purpley pink? Oh my god, a Guanlong! At level 165! <laughs> I love it! I haven't decided any creature that's above level 40 has smoke coming from it. Oh! I thought I'd already killed him. Oh, okay, never mind. I wasted that. Not that I'm worried. I got 2,000 health, and nothing can do more than, like, 200 attack on a single one. You went for two out of your three, so, yeah, definitely dead. I think it was three. Maybe it was just two. And Spino has even less than the T-Rex. A little bit more health, but again, still dies in two. Oh, Spinosaur's design? Sick. 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 <laughs> really good. I remember when I, I evolved that to level 40, I was like, oh, so good. Nice. It's nice, I guess, to see all the old dinos as well in events like this. So the 50 bucks, the Utah Raptor, but how much about the VIP? Yeah. Okay. Not, not so much. About a regular pack. We unlocked Utah Raptor. Oh my God. <laughs> So you'd kind of want to do these battles because you unlock the dinosaurs from it. Interesting. Okay, two out of 20. If we wanted to, we could even do the battle for survival. You know what? Why? This is super easy. I love this one. Put in that and that and done. Literally two turns, it's over. And again, in the same battle arena, can we please stop? Like, I... I beg of you. Oh. Hold on. No. Is it that? Is I don't know. I, I was wanting to do more. I, I, I was wanting to do just the megaphone effect. But is 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 that is that a thing? No. Like, Lydia, please stop what you're doing and change the battle in it, damn it! Uh, they never will though. Alright. Okay. Uh, and then the next one's super easy as well. You just go for those two. That's what you need. You need three dinos that can kill a level 40 raptor in one hit. That's all you need. Technically, hopefully survive some hits, but like I can, as long as I don't go for block, literally 15 seconds and it's over. I love that. I get like 50 DNA, then I can just do that. Straight back in, another hit. So good. It's clean, it's fast. It's good reward. It's clean fun. That's what it is. I like it. Oh, oh. They don't do any voices because obviously they'd have to speed it up. And it would sound a bit stupid because they sound like chicky mooks. Yeah. Oh, no. Ha, ha, I won. Yes. I'll do the voices. That'll work better. Me. All right, there we go. Food pack. Woo, but who really cares about the food? I'll be honest. I do. 260, that's what we want. And another one. Three out of 28. We haven't even made progress in the bar yet. <laughs> it's it's hidden behind the metal. Um, and we've also got events in here, but the, like the VIP events are always so rubbish. 
because they cost books to enter or VIP points to enter. They the opponents are so freaking hard, and the reward is is terrible. It's basically you just do this for DNA and if you've got any dinosaurs to use. But that we use pretty much everything. We could even do this one, but they're super hard creatures. Um, so we're not going to. But that. Oh, hold up. We got something to collect here? Oh, it's just a card pack. What we've done? Oh my god. And all of that as well. Going towards more monostegatops, more indoraptors. I cannot praise it enough. It's so good. I just want something like an, an end game. That's what I'm after. I want an end game. I don't know what the end game should be, uh, but I'm not going to touch this till tomorrow, so I may as well just shove in Rajasaur done in eight hours but anyway guys if you enjoyed this video we're sticking with the aquatic theme having that thing max level leave a like and until next time i'll see you guys later oh bye bye